Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. Today's video I'm gonna be doing winter makeup routine. I'm just gonna be doing a simple everyday glam so you guys can see how I do my makeup uh, in the winter. So first, moisturize. Using the Mario Badescu lip balm. So basically I'm just gonna be focusing on the skin today. I'm gonna be doing another video on, you know, a little bit more of a glamorous look, so stay tuned for that. Moisture is key when it comes to a winter makeup routine. Just because you don't want your skin to be all dry and flaky, what I do is incorporate as much moisture into my skin as possible. Uh, so what I use is the Photo Finish Primer Water. Uh, it's almost done. I really do need to stock up. It's literally done. There's like a couple drops left, but it'll spray. I do have more affordable options like the... Uh, Mario Badescu rose water spray. They have like lavender and green cucumber and stuff like that And I also have the Olay mist, which is really nice. I got the energizing one with vitamin C and ber bergamot just because Vitamin C looks helps your skin look bright and as you can see I got a lot of little spots on my face. So my face is moisturized and it's all uh, <laughs> primerized. So what I like to do is because my nose is oily no matter what time of year it is, I'm just gonna set my nose. So today I'm gonna be going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Normally I would use the NARS Sheer Glow, but I don't have it with me. So what I do is just pump a little bit on my face. So as you guys can see, this foundation has a very natural finish. It's not matte, it's not dewy, it's just, it's just right in the middle. It just looks like my fucking skin. Next. So next I'm gonna be using the Radiant Creamy Concealer, which I should have been using with the Sheer Glow, but you know, you know what happened. Apply. I'm in the shade Amon. I'm just gonna hold ahead and use my Beauty Blender. It's so hard to not do your concealer without making a terrible, like a really heinous face. You gotta like stretch your face out, almost. So for my powder, I'm going in with the Laurier Mercier Secret Translucent Setting Powder. I never, I don't know why I always add the word secret into it. I'm not baking or anything like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and contour the nose. So if you guys been following me for long enough, I bake my nose and that's what I'm about to do right now. gonna go ahead and bake my jawline since I'm doing more of an everyday look I'm gonna go ahead and use my Anastasia pomade in dark brown not ebony I'm gonna skip this part because everybody does their brows differently so just do them how you like them honestly doing my eyebrows today was a little bit of a struggle I'm still not sure if I got it right I still I use the Anastasia pomades and I used ebony and dark brown and I use the 7B brush, which is a fantastic brush for me. I love it. So I just did a little bit of primer to get my brow, brow whatever, eyes primed. I'm gonna go ahead and brush off my chin bake. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia bronzer powder in the shade Mahogany. Okay, so now I'm gonna brush off the bake on my nose. So next I'm gonna go in with the Milani Baked Blush in the color Red Vino. I'm picking this blush because it's deep and it's glowy. So it's like gonna give you that, that look where you're, you just came from walking in the cold and your face is all pink and red and you know, it gives you that look but like in a pretty way. I like it. 
So then what I do is put some on my nose as well. Next, I'm going to highlight. I absolutely adore these Milani highlighters. I don't think they get enough recognition. They're freaking gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So I'm gonna, and I like to put a little bit in my inner corner. Not with my index finger. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my lash. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, putting on lashes is a fucking struggle for me. Like, it is a serious struggle. Mainly because my lashes are so freaking curly. And... It makes it impossible to put on the lashes. Because the glue gets all up in my lashes. And it is not a pretty sight. Okay guys, so I did it. I'm so happy with myself. I am so fucking proud of myself. I put it on the lashes and they're on. So next what I'm gonna do is highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna use the same uh, Milani powder. I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take my pinky and then highlight my inner corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lower lash line mascara. Okay, um, I think I'm done with everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and give you two lip options. So I'm gonna go ahead with my NYX Espresso Liner. My favorite lip liner. Mm. And then I'm going with the color Exotic. I love this one. It requires a lot of blending. So, this is the first lip color option I like. Next lip option is for me, people like me, who want to go bold. It's winter, you want to do the dark lips, you want to be vampy. This is the perfect time. Fall, winter, this is the time to be vampy. So I'm going to go in with the, melt, the Too Faced Melted Matte in the color Drop Dead Red. What I'm gonna do now is set my face. I'm actually gonna set my face twice. One time with something that is an actual setting spray and it's meant to make my makeup last, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And then I'm gonna go in with the Olay Ultra Hydrating Essence. We've reached the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe down below. Uh, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified every single time I upload. I am going to be uploading more now that I've got like my situation set up. I do want to upload once a week minimum. Peace out, Girl Scout.